Hi everybody, I'm Tom Skilling from the WGN Weather Center and it's an honor to have a chance to say hello to everybody from the Citizens Climate Lobby. Rick Knight has been such an interesting person with whom to talk uh, about the subject of climate change and uh, Rick and I are on the same page on this. I, I have to tell you, as somebody who works in day-to-day -day weather forecasting, it's stunning to me uh, the number of occasions we see, in particular in the Arctic regions, the buildup of these big domes of warm air. And I know there's controversy about this, but I'll tell you as an operational forecaster, it's incredible the impact they have on our weather here in the mid-latitudes. You put a dome of unusually warm air, which seems to be a phenomenon occurring with increasing frequency up in the Arctic as climate warming continues, and it is ongoing. There is no question about it. Um, and what happens is the jet stream buckles around these warm domes of air. It becomes uh, very meridional, we say in the weather business, very wavy. And the jet will d run way up into the Arctic and then dive down into the mid latitudes here with cold air often in tow. And it gives rise to these situations where these climate deniers say, hey, where's the global warming? Because it's cold outside. And what they don't realize is driving the abnormal cold uh, spell that they're in at the moment with the snow um, is the fact there's unusual warmth up in the Arctic that leads to these wavy jet stream patterns. Do you know it was, it's calculated, we've had 19 billion dollar weather disasters in the last two years here in the United States. There has never been in our history anything like this and population increase is not the sole explanation for this at all. This is unusual weather that we're talking about. We see it in wildfires, in agricultural failures. We see it in these humongous and deadly tornado outbreaks. We just went through one. Uh, the town of Washington, a good chunk of it was flattened by that EF4 tornado. We had never had EF4 tornadoes in Illinois in the month of November before this. And that came one week after uh, the typhoon went ashore in the Philippines, the strongest landfalling typhoon ever to occur anywhere on the planet and near as we can tell. And that followed by several weeks, the warmest October on record in Anchorage, Alaska since 1916, and the first winter, uh, first Halloween, where they didn't have snow on the ground in Fairbanks, Alaska since 1924. So we have these anomalous weather events occurring, and what's interesting is, you know, there's nothing linear about climate change or warming that goes on, and people don't understand that. A cold wave here and there and a snowstorm does not indicate that the planet isn't warming because when you step back and look at the big picture, warming is evident and it's, it's very pronounced and it's having a dramatic change on the weather around the area. It's been calculated that in the year 2012, this country, our federal government, spent $100 billion cleaning up after weather disasters. And to put that in some kind of context, that's more energy than the federal, or more money than the federal government spent on um, education and on transportation combined. Uh, it's a pretty stunning statistic, and it's a sign that we're already being taxed for unusual weather, and uh, many areas of the world are seeing abnormal weather that's costing lives. So uh, we've got to take our climate very seriously and address this issue seriously, and that's exactly what you folks do. Uh, I told Rick, you know, I come from the status of being a denier, but as years went on, I used to hear these forecasts from models uh, of the Arctic melting and that uh, there'd be tremendous warming, and I thought at the time, you're going to have to prove that to me. But then it started happening. I'm a frequent traveler to Alaska, and I see the unusual weather that's going on up there. Do you know they built a visitor center down the highway from where I go, which is about an hour south of Anchorage, and uh, this visitor center shows a film of the Chugach National Forest. And at the end, a big drape opens up in this giant auditorium, revealing a window that used to give you a full view of a magnificent glacier, the Portage Glacier that was outside. This is one of the most visited tourist attractions in Alaska. And you know that today, in just the years since this visitor center was built, uh, when that drape opens up now, you see a pond there. The glacier is nowhere in sight because it's receded so far. That's going on with 80%, 90% of the glaciers on this planet. Uh, the Arctic is melting incredibly fast. Some people point to an increase of ice in Antarctica. The fact of the matter is the increase in ice in Ar Antarctica is a little deceptive, and it is far outweighed by the loss of ice up north. Climate change is real, it's happening, and it's having an impact on our weather. 
So good luck with your conference. I'm only sorry I can't be there in person to talk to you, but I know I'll be working with Rick and members of your group uh, as we do presentations on this subject in the months and years to come. Thank you for giving me a chance to address you and to assure you that this is one weather forecaster that believes in climate change and sees its impact each and every day that I go to work. It's my honor to speak to you. Good luck with the conference. I only wish I could be there. And thank you for making me at least a little part of it. I really appreciate it.